Kyle. Thanks. I will be very brief, Mr. President. I know that we have an 1145 vote scheduled. I, I urge my colleagues to join me in advancing the nomination of Judith Pryor as Vice President of the Export-Import Bank. I appreciate the ranking member of the committee's comments about her qualifications. She is clearly qualified. Um, what we need to always remember is our foreign competitors operate more than 100 export credit agencies and credit programs supporting their manufacturers. As if our policy has not been stupid enough as a country, uh, PNTR with China, which caused the hollowing out of community after community in Southwest Virginia and in my state and much of the area throughout the Midwest. Uh, China's export finance activity is larger than all of the export credit that G7 countries collectively provide. China will continue to use export credit to win manufacturing businesses in critical sectors. Uh, in Ohio, we just lost two more light bulb manufacturers, LED manufacturers. Uh, the light bulb was invented by an Ohio and Thomas Edison in a New Jersey lab. We used to lead the world. Now 99% of light bulb, LED light bulbs are made in China. Does that not teach us something? How about semiconductors? We invented semiconductors. We only make about 10% of them in this country now. As first vice president of Exim, Ms. Pryor will help lead the nation's official export credit agency as it supports workers and manufacturers throughout our country. This is the most pro-worker president of the United States in my lifetime. He puts workers at the center of our economic agenda, our manufacturing agenda. We know what that means for building middle-class lives. But more, more to the issue, the Senate previously confirmed Ms. Pryor to be a board member of Exim in July 2019, 77 to 19. More recently, she was advanced out of the Banking Housing Committee, which I chair by a voice vote. There are 12 Republicans, 12 Democrats, a voice vote. There was no objection, no dissension. The Chamber of Commerce, not always an ally of the Biden administration, the Chamber of Commerce supports Ms. Pryor. She worked with former President Kimberly Reed, a Republican appointee, and current member Spencer Backus, a former Republican congressman, to reopen XM to full operations. My interest in her is a national interest. My interest is also, she is a native Ohio and she hails from Richmond Heights, a Cleveland suburb, 25 years of international business, finance, and public policy experience. Don't be misled by attacks on Exim's creation of a new financing facility for U.S. Export, exporters. They already have a quorum. She is not essential for that quorum. She's essential because she's so darn good in her job. Exim President Rita Jo Lewis is doing exactly what Congress, a majority of Congress, not unanimous, but a majority of Congress told the bank to do when we reauthorized its charter in 2019 to help American exporters compete with China. Our economy this is, this is almost hard to believe. I mean, it is hard to believe, but for the first time in 20 years, our economy is growing faster than China's economy. That's because we're finally stepping up with a real manufacturing policy. We're not asking Congress to waive any rules. The bank is required to show that its financing does not crowd out financing from the private sector. It's essential that our manufacturers have every tool at their disposal so they can compete globally. That's why we need Judith Pryor at XM. I urge my colleagues to join me in supporting Ms. Pryor's nomination, and I yield the floor. Under the previous order, the question is on the motion to discharge. The yeas and nays have been previously ordered. The clerk will call the roll. Ms. Baldwin, Mr. Barrasso, Mr. 